Hey guys, it's Defawfalizer here. Welcome back to another Inca Games walkthrough. This one is of Gravity Falls Saw game. It's Christmas Eve, and the evil pig saw will force Dipper and Mabel to play his malevolent game, forcing them to return to Gravity Falls to overcome dangerous challenges. You know, I I was excited to play this one because I'm a pretty big fan of Gravity Falls. For those of you who haven't seen the show, it's it's a really good one. Uh, no, not letting you get into my local storage. Guys, I know it's not for a virus. These guys don't mean any ill will. Pines family's home. It's Christmas Eve, Mabel, and I can't wait to see what gifts our parents got for us. The parents that we never get to see in the show. Oh, of course, they just spoil it. I can't win either, Dipper. There's only a few hours left. I'm sure that Waddles is also anxious to see his gift. Seriously, it just friggin' shows them. I'll turn on the TV. It's almost time for the new episode of Duck Detective. Good idea. That duck rules. Wait, I thought Dipper hated Duck Detective. Welcome to Duck Detective. Today's episode: The Mysterious Footprints. Hello, Mabel. Hello, Dipper. Grunkle Stan, is that you? You look a little older. So you want to joke. In a few minutes, you won't be laughing anymore. Are you another anomaly? Now that I think about it, I suppose I am in some way. Who are you and how do you know us? My name is Pigsaw, and I know you because I have si been spying on you secretly since you arrived at Gravity Falls. I watched how you solved a lot of mysteries until the day you defeated Bill Cipher on the day of Weird Mageddon, and finally returned to California with your parents. Okay, we already know that you know us, but get to the point. Tell us what you want. We're missing Dick Tech. We're missing Duck Detective. See, kids, it's Christmas, and I w want to give you a very special gift that you will never forget. What do you want to give us? A game. A game? What kind of game? A game in which you must return to Gravity Falls to face dangerous challenges and villains. You'll have to excuse us, but we're not interested in accepting any game that involves risks, much le and much less from one from some crazy doll. You heard our brother. Get out of our TV so we can continue watching our program. How many risks did you guys take over the course of this show, you friggin' idiots? I know you would refuse to accept my gift, but I have a remedy that never fails. Look carefully at the screen, Dipper. Wendy? Yes, Dipper, it's Wendy, the girl who owns your heart, and that until now, you have not managed to forget. Uh, didn't he kind of get over his crush? Now it's your turn. Watch the screen carefully, Mabel. Mermando! Uh, of course, out of all of them, he picks, actually. Yes, Mabel, it's Mermando, the sweet and tender merboy who you rescued and still have feelings for. As you see, both of you have a very big reason to accept my I gift and play... I'll give you a few rules. Wendy and Mermando are hidden somewhere in Gravity Falls. The goal of this game is to rescue them, but it won't be easy as you will have to face dangerous challenges. And this time you won't have the help of your Grunkle Stanford's journals. By the way, he won't be able to help you either because he's with your other Grunkle Stan looking for anomalies in the Arctic Ocean. Well, enough talking. To start the game, everyone, you should stand on the symbol that will appear on the floor. Win or lose, make your choice. We have to rescue Wendy and Romando. Come here, Waddles. The evil puppet said all of us should come, too. Let's win this insane dolls game. Yeah, Mermando probably was the best choice, because let's see, what were other Mabel what were Mabel's other exes? We had um that weird puppet guy that she instantly regretted, uh, the several times guys, 
Gideon. Yeah, so Mermando probably was the best choice. I'm just surprised. It just really shows how dedicated Pigsaw is that he was able to track down Mermando in the middle of the friggin' ocean. But that's beside the point. Dripper, what a surprise to see you. When do you come back? I thought you would come back next summer. Hello, Seuss. I came back today because the evil pig saw has kidnapped Wendy and Mermando and forced Mabel and me to play his evil game. <laughs> Just the look on his face. That sounds very bad. I would accompany you, but your grunkle ordered me not to move from the reception, and you know I follow his orders to the letter. Seuss doesn't talk like that! What has Pigsaw done to you? Why are you talking like that? Also, as you know, he left me his hat, and that makes the responsibility much bigger. I understand. Do not worry, I can manage things just fine by myself. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have some objects that can be useful to me? Well, yes, I'll give you glue, a head... A hex head cap screw and a small metal object. Something tells me they will be very useful. Thanks, friend. Good good luck, colleague. Oh, I use fancy words now. So you just want to combine those three right off the bat because you're going to have to do it. You might have to. So you don't have to do it later because you're going to have to do it anyway. Just grab all the stuff in here. Yeah, the mystery shack's pretty much only good for just grabbing. Whatever items are in it. Okay, so now that I've got everything, let's go in the other way. Those wax, those wax statues look very real. We're more real than you can imagine. Now you will be one of us. To defeat the evil wax statues, you must take advantage of nature. Now, at first I was thinking, why the hell is Dipper surprised by this? Him and Mabel took him out in the, uh, dealt with them in the third episode. But then I remembered, oh yeah, that's right. They killed them all. The, you know, obviously Dipper would be surprised to see them still see new wax figures that were exactly the same as the old ones, but they're, but they're still alive. Hey, look, it's old man McGucket. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, boy! I see that the fishing was good. The lake must be full of fishes. Nothing like that, kid! I bought these fishes in the supermarket. Although there are fishes in the lake, it's very difficult to catch them today. For some strange reason, they never bought! And you would like to trade your fishes for something? Now that you mention it, a pair of sunglasses would come in handy. I, I'm just, uh, sunglasses. Sounds fair. Are we just supposed to pr forget the fact that Dipper knows McGucket? I'll bring you a pair of sunglasses of very good quality. Yes! They, they are very good. With this, the sun will no longer bother me. I'll go for a walk in the mountains. The fish are yours. See ya, kid! S seriously, Dipper had an entire episode where he took McGucket with him to, like, the museum or something. Society of the Blind Eye. I, I think it was a museum. So, how are we supposed to just imagine that, oh, th oh no, there's just some random old guy who looks like McGucket, okay? And Dipper was able to tell that he's not McGucket, and he's responding accordingly. I'm pretty sure that, I don't remember his official name, but I'm pretty sure it's not that good day. What's so good about it? You seem annoyed. Yes, I want to cut down that tree, but that little boy does not want to come down. Ru does that guy look like a little boy to you? I see. Hello, Robbie. Hi, Dipper. Why don't you want to come down? Because I like to see everything from here. Nothing will make you change your mind. Hmm, maybe something unusual, incredible, or fantastic. And that... In that case, I would think about it. Interesting. Yeah, because you've never seen anything incredible or fantastic. Like, you know, a video game character coming to life and almost killing you. You know, that's clearly not something Robbie's ever seen. But no, Robbie, I want to help you. Not because you were a jerk in the show, but because your voice is the same guy who starred in the Emoji movie. That Those grudges... Oh, yeah. For some reason... Translation errors right here. 
Okay, so, uh, golf cart without gas. So, take that. Hello, Mabel. No, not anymore. They let me go for good behavior. That was, uh, why she asked why he wasn't in jail. I hope that now you don't do bad things. No, quite the opposite. And right now, you're gonna realize it. And that ring? It's yours! It has a very expensive diamond, and it'll help seal our commitment. Gideon, I, I think I already told you that you and I can only be friends, if you behave, of course. Are you rejecting me again? Yes, I'm sorry. Are you sure? Very. <laughs> I see that it's useless to try the good way with you. Now we will be together forever, Mabel. Wait for me here. I have to go tell my dad we're getting married. He'll be very happy. By the way, do not bother trying to break the bottle. It's made of an unbreakable plastic. So don't waste energy in vain. Apparently that whole speech Dipper gave Gideon in Weird Mageddon Part 1 did absolutely nothing. I have to escape from here. Yeah, plus, why should Mabel be surprised by him getting out of jail? Bill broke him out, remember? Let's take some time for the glue to dry. And he never went back in jail after Weird Mageddon, so yeah. Nothing to do with good behavior. Now that the magic lantern broke, I want to tell you that everything was a joke, and I hope you don't take it badly. Come on, give me a hug to leave everything behind. Well, he deserved it. Yeah. So, we used the uh, thing that binded at the first one. Yeah. So yeah, this game, to me, uh, has quite the bit of continuity errors. <laughs> like, let's reference the show, but let's, like, get the continuity all screwed up. Oh, hold on. What's this? You're not in the Gravity Falls! Hello, friend. Hello, Mabel. I see you know me. Who are you? I'm Maria Paula Gonzalez from Colombia. Here's the obligatory contest where... Colombia, nice country, and what are you doing in Gravity Falls, Maria Paula? I'm here to help you. Great, and what could you help me with? Well, I can sing very well. See, they like, when it comes to her talent or her name, they don't let you skip because she's the contest winner. You know they want, they know that you don't want to see this, but they force you to because, hey, she won the contest. She's entitled to it. No magic power. There must be m gnomes near. Now, I remember that Journal 3 said no magic put... Outer puts unicorns to sleep. I don't remember that, but sure, go ahead. Okay, let's, uh, let's read this. Only a beautiful melody will show the palace that lies hidden here. Yeah, um, when I was, like, going through my trial run, like I always do with these games, so I know how to beat them, like, I skipped the intro and I just went past all the dialogue I could just to make sure that, you know, um, to, so I could have the most surprises. Maria Paula, I need you to sing a beautiful melody to reveal a palace that's hidden here. I understand, Mabel. Okay, this is pretty good. Look. I also had my computer on move, mute. Yeah, Dang, that was good. That was actually really good. Like I said, I had my computer on mute, so I wouldn't even know what that sounded like. Nice song, Maria Paula. The palace opened. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure, Mabel. Now I must leave. I hope you managed to rescue your friends. 
The audio quality left a little bit to be desired, but great singing on the Gravity Falls theme song. Hope to see you soon, Maria Paula. Yeah, just great singing, Gravity Falls theme. Do that. That's probably what she entered into the contest in order to win. I salute you, Maria Paula. Good job. I, I'm just glad that one of my roommates didn't come in here hearing that and just be like, what the hell are you watching? <laughs> okay, so. Anyway, go in here. Hello. Hello. Are you here with good intentions? Er, good intentions? Yes, of course. So, you did not come here to uh, steal a lock of hair from our beloved Celeste Bell... El Beth Celeste Bell Bethabel? No, I don't know... Oh, what you're talking... No, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Good, because everyone comes for a lock of her hair, and because putting the hair together in a circle can generate force field, powerful force fields. I hope that you don't mind the interrogation, but I have to do this as I'm the guardian of this place. Don't worry, it's your job, I understand. Oh, and one more thing. Don't cross the red line, because otherwise Celeste Bell Bethabel will be furious. She does not like to be interrupted in the middle of her meditation. Wow, what a temper. Well, let's go interrupt her. To succeed, you need to get rid of someone first. Ooh, let's use this gnome powder. She attacked Celeste Bell Bethabel. Yeah. Uh, at first, I was going to say, you know, why I can't just beat them up. Like she did in the show, but then that reminds me, oh yeah, she had Grenda, Candy, and Wendy with her, so of course, you know, she can't do that here. Oh yeah, I, I accidentally spoiled this, yeah. That should give you a hint as what we're going to be going through soon. Okay, this, not useful right now. Um, okay, so, we got this piece of yarn, it was... Better to use a fishing line. Oh, find an actual fishing line. Okay, fine. Be that way. Oh. Hey, what's this way? Oh, this, I remember this. Trick or treat. Trick. Trick? Well, if you want. Well. <laughs> The trickster is a glutton. Maybe you can use that against him. Trick or treat. Treat. Good answer. Now I'll give you an empty pumpkin. When you filled it with candies, come back here. Oh yeah, Yamil Gabadama. Hi, Dipper. Who you are? Yamil Aboger from Argentina. Nice. Nice to meet you, Yamil. Where are... What are you doing in Gravity Falls? I'm here to help Mabel and yourself win this game. Now, I can't make any jokes about Argentina because that's like the largest demographic of my fans in non-English speaking countries. Thank you very much, something, something. Why well, I'm a sculptor of wax dolls. They are so real I could fool... Almost, almost fool anyone. Very well. And... What would you need? Well, three things. A large block of wax, a carving tool, and something to paint with. I understood. I'll try to get those three things. I'll be back. Okay. Shh. Boop. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's got to be something I can... Did I miss something in the mystery shack? Because there is a lot of stuff to get in the mystery shack. The shack of mystery. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dang it. Ah, okay. Paint palette. I mean, I don't need this now, but I will later, so. Oh. This. Also helpful. Glad I finded it. And it's finded, not found, okay? That's that's just how English works. So I guess Dipper and Mabel's room's kind of being used as a... Um, as like a storage room now. Okay. 
Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I guess I'll go back to Mabel. Hopefully she can find a fishing line in some capacity. Oh, right here. Okay, now go back to Dipper. Uh, now here, now piece of yarn. Yeah, where's that fishing? Oh, not piece of yarn, idiot. Fishing line. It, it looks exactly the same in the picture. Okay, good idea, but we need... Oh, right, right. Get a... I'ma get a bucket full of fish. Oh, yeah. And... Wake the gobble wonker. Why does the Gobble Wonker need to eat? It's a robot, remember? We got a photo of the monster from Gravity Falls Lake. You know, it, it's probably... I, I really hope you, though people... Uh, I really hope if you're watching this that you're not... If... Uh, I hope you're not someone who wants to get into Gravity Falls but hasn't seen anything yet because God, that would suck. Oh. must find a way to get to where he is oh right so take the deflated balloon helium tank piece of yarn blah 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 why would i right connect the right get the duct tape the, the get the duct tape with the balloon and then the monster with the balloon then the balloon with the balloon and give it to robbie and robbie can do this what is it it's a picture of the monster that lives in our lake. Nobody has been able to take it until today. This is incredible! People say they were just rumors, but I was sure it existed. With this, I will be able to write an article for the Gravity Falls newspaper, and I will become famous. See you, Dipper. You're welcome, Robbie. I didn't know he... Finally, the boy is gone. Now I can cut the tree. Now I can go to sleep peaceful. What? You just wanted to cut down the tree for no reason? I mean, look, he's even making, letting me take the most valuable part of the tree. What a nice guy. Um, wait, what, why did I say that sarcastically? That, that was nice. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So now that we're here, we should go. Oh, hold on. First off, get this stuff very valuable now let's go visit the manatars which altar well the first one in front of you hurry up my time is precious oh, wait hold on no i will tell you the rules of the altar of the challenge you will have to challenge me in something anything if you manage to win the challenge then i will let at you go but if you lose you will take the place left by the bird who was there before did the bird escape no i ate it enough uh, off of this nonsense what do you want to challenge me in i challenge you to see a competition to see who can jump higher who can jump higher sounds interesting i accept you have three seconds to show me your best jump Are you kidding me? You barely left the ground. You are not worthy of challenging me. You lose. <laughs> Send me the loser. <laughs> Maybe you should cheek to provoke the Manitar King. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Now you will see what jumping is, insect. <laughs> Thank you very much for helping us get rid of that cruel little boss. You have a lot of courage. That cruel little boss. Yeah, clearly he was little. It was not my intention for him to end up crushed, but well, those things happen. As a sign of our gratitude, accept this trampoline. It'll help you to improve your jumping skills. We are sure it will be very useful. Sure the multi-bear didn't get to him? Seems like the multi-bear... Would have been a f more fitting death ha if the multi-bear killed him. Now that we leave, I hope 
we will meet again one day. I hope to see you soon. So what the... Oh, trampoline, right. So let's go to Mabel now. So now let's put this pepper in the Pokeball. Okay. Who, look who came to steal things from our forest. The girl who did not want to be our cre queen. Now she'll have it be it whether she likes it or not. Oh, that's right. Another one of Mabel's exes. The gnomes. Boys, help your king get down. King gnome makes us work overtime. Yeah, he also charges too many taxes. Now that we think uh, it through, we're better off without a king. Let's go, boys. It seems that the gnomes now have no king. <laughs> to be fair, the gnome king was more trouble than he was worth. Not only did he turn on Dipper and Mabel immediately the moment that Gideon broke out a dog whistle, but he was also causing a whole bunch of problems in a spin-off game that no one played except me. Hi, why haven't you gone off the others? Shmebulok! Are you giving me something? Shmebulok. Okay, thanks. Yeah, it's, um... Tonight, several times. Oh, I'm gonna... OMG, my favorite band, several times! Why are you locked in a cage? All the girls admire us and see us have fun on stage, but they don't know the dark truth. Which truth? We're not real. But I can see you're very real. We're clones, the product of advanced genetic engineering. Mr. Brastman cloned us using human genes, but he also added hamster genes. I suppose that was what... So you could be obedient and endure captivity. How evil. That's right. After each concert, he encloses us here and feeds us with hamster food. Our dream is to be able to escape someday and see the real world. I'm dying to know what they call tree. Although I don't know what it is, I'm dying to see it. Calm down, guys. I'm going to help you escape. So if you free promise me that once you're free, you'll, you'll rebel against the evil Mr. Brastman. Can we rebel? That'll be fine. Of course, rebelling against someone who's hurting you is what any person in their right mind would do. I will help you, but I promise me that once you're free, you will rebel. You have made us see things clearly, Mabel. We will promise that we will rebel. That's the spirit? That will set you free. Be patient. Hurry, the evil Mr. Brastman could arrive at any moment. Uh, yeah, because clearly there wasn't, uh, clearly Mabel hasn't already freed these guys before or something. Waddles, cross the frame is, and that's behind you. Look for a button similar to the button on which I'm standing and stand on it. God, that was a free and verbose way to say it. And Waddles is trapped forever. Goodbye, Waddles. You served your purpose well, but now you're gone forever. So let's fill it up with some gasoline. Wee! Gasoline. A, a tough rope. Dope. So now let's do the thingy. Let's add the stick here, put it in reverse. Then gas pedal with my hand would be rather dangerous. You did a great job! Get this stone. Which I, oh, it's a sewer cover. Oh, that's what it's used for. Okay, get the brush, paint it, and then you're gonna wanna paint this to look like a cookie. Hi, friends! Hey, Mabel! We know that Pig Sauce kidnapped Mermando and Wendy, and we are here to help you. Thank you very much. I'm sure I'll need your help. Let's go.
All right, let's go here. Girls, form a tower and reach the key and then throw it to me so I can open the padlock. Understood. Let's go, girls. Beep. 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 You're trying to release my slaves. I won't allow it. <laughs> You must be faster if you want to save at the free. Now you'll know. Now you'll know what it's like to be trapped. We should do this to Agent Pie. Nah, nah, no. He deserves far worse. Thank you. Thank you very much, girls, for helping us get our freedom. It was nothing, guys. Any fan would have done it. Before we go, we want to give you a rubber brain. A fan threw it in the middle of one of our concerts. We believe that it could be useful. Now we'll go see the real world. See you soon. Me too. I, I can't miss this. Wow. I have a go too. But Miranda and Wendy need me. Yeah. They just throw a rubber brain into the crowd because that makes sense. I think this is actually it for uh, Mabel's side of the journey. Wait, no, no, no. We still have the hair again. Okay. Some extra strong perfume. Oh, yeah. Shut up. That was good dialogue. Why did I spell it? Don't be afraid. Mm, not bad, but I'm still not sure. Uh, the, oh, yeah, the perfume's 90% off, but Seder's getting an additional 10% off, so it's free. Let's see. And dead. Perfume was indeed extra strong. Why don't we just have chloroform, you know? I guess it wouldn't be fitting for Mabel to do that. Then again, it wouldn't be fitting for Pigsaw to call someone honorable like he did in his Saw game to the Apache, but hey, that didn't stop him. Anyway, get a locky unicorn hair. And now, this puzzle... Okay, first off, Umbrella Corporation. Apparently, Umbrella Corps is in the Gravity Falls universe. That is just awesome. <laughs> Friggin' Resident Evil taking place in the same universe as Gravity Falls. We gotta have a game where Albert Wesker and Bill Cipher team up. That would be awesome. But anyway, this is actually a pretty good puzzle. Okay, so basically, we gotta... This piece of paper, so it'll show you an order as well as a color. Now you look at this. It's basically everyone uh, wishing you goodbye. But um, the color that their thing is in uh, corresponds to this number pad. So basically... And it's going to sound like I'm cracking a conspiracy, but uh, to be fair, I kind of am. So, okay, so one is gray. Okay, and gray here is Stan. Okay, that's four letters. Okay, next up, uh, dark blue. Okay, the dark blue Gideon. Okay, so six letters. Yeah, Gideon signed her paper saying, see you next summer. Why should she be so surprised that he's out of jail? Okay, so four, six, purple, so... Crap, what? Shade of purple? Okay. Stanford, S-T-A-N-F-O-R-D. Okay, so... Four, six, eight... Light blue, Lee. I don't know who, I forget who Lee is. Four, six, eight, three. Kid, you should have entered the code. Oh, I forgot to do something. Got to do a couple things actually. Get rid of the zombies. You will need f something fake and something magical. Okay, so let's uh, create the force field with the unicorn hair. Let's keep some hair close to the circle and create a force field at the right time. Oh, and, uh, let's also put the brain there. So now, um, four, six, eight, three. Kid, you shouldn't have entered the code! 
Oh no, one of you guys was voiced by Ron Swanson. Okay, quickly, put the unicorn hair here. And they're trapped. The plan worked perfectly, with some collateral damage, but hey, nobody's perfect. I mean, those guys were jerks anyway. They tried to lock Stan up for stealing top secret chemicals and building a device that was screwing with gravity. What assholes. In all seriousness, though, that's not how the unicorn hair works. Because if you remember in this show, yeah, it is a force field. But the only person it works against is Bill. Everyone else, it's completely harmless towards. But anyway, now I believe it's this way. They go here. And... Uh, no candy. That's a real shame. Let's see, what else haven't I done as Mabel? Okay, I've done everything I can as Mabel. Oh, no, I, I still have something to do as Dipper. That's right, I need, I need to get the... A couple things, actually. So, first, first things first... Gotta get a giant magnifying glass. Because, you know, that you just have those lying around. And a mirror. Okay, no. Never mind. I could buy the Mystery Shack having something like that. A sacred scepter of the Ze Sun. Dead. Something tells me that the wax statues will no longer be a problem. Well, yeah, you just friggin' brutally murdered them, Dipper. Or should I say... Killer? I don't know. I don't know what to call you anymore or what to think of you. Okay, so let's give him all the materials he needs. Paint, brush, and thinner. So that, and that, and that, Yamil, you already have all the necessary elements to make a wax doll. Great, whom should I make the doll? From my great uncle Stanford Pines. Ready? I'll do it right now. To be fair, how many people in Gravity Falls actually know that that's Stanford Pines and that the other Stan isn't Stanford? Done, I'm done. It looks very real. Congratulations, you're an excellent sculptor. Well, Dipper, I have to go. Hope you managed to rescue Wendy or Mermando. I hope so much. Thank you for your help, Yamil. Wonder if, like, his, he was supposed to make, like, a wax sculpture. Okay, there's the candy. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, everything's done on Mabel's end. Before, you know, getting past, uh, the guards. How dare you return with an empty pumpkin! Ouch. I see that you have a pumpkin full of candy. Good work. Now give it to me since I'm very hungry. The candies were good, but you know one thing? What? I'm still hungry! So it looks like we have to kill him. Now we could... Uh, so let's put this explosive... I think the candies did not really suit our friend. Okay, so let's get rid of teeth first. Dude, do you want a choco chip cookie? Is that the slang the kids are saying now? Choco chip. We defeated teeth. Now let's cl climb up here. Climb up here. Get this magnet down. It's kind of a clever, and that's kind of a clever, uh, puzzle, because, you know, you never really notice that shackle on 8-Ball's leg. In fact, I'm not even sure he has that in the show. 8-Ball's such a minor character. And what do you know, it's the pyramid. Yeah, it, it's not really hiding them, where it's painfully obvious where they would be. And given there's a, and wherever the pyramid is, there must be Bill. Oh, by the way, I, I just want to point this out, because the snowman here is the only evidence of winter. Outside of that, everything in Gravity Falls looks the same 
that it did during the summertime, despite the fact that it's cr supposed to be Christmas. Anyway, uh, let's do the roopity doopity. That is not good. Actually, let's see what happens. So we need the Sacred Scepter of Wind, but I apparently missed that. Hmm. Ah, so... So I guess while I'm searching for this, I guess I can talk about uh, my thoughts on the finale of Gravity Falls. Like, everyone's saying, oh my god, it's such a great finale. Like, for me personally, like, I liked it. It was good, but part of me just thinks it could have they could have done better. I think, like, once Ford got introduced, like, the series went a bit faster than it should have. Like, they, they could have spent more time and we're... Like, they could have spent more time fleshing out characters. I mean, we didn't, like, Ostrock Vox pointed out between weird uh, like we had no clue where mcgucket was between not what he seems and weird mcgeddon except for you know the whole uh, uh moment where he um except for you know in the journal or some i forget what it was but point is it wasn't in the oh there's the staff of course blends right into the background but you know it never specified and, you know, we don't, despite how interesting the apocalypse world is, we don't get that much time in it. Like, we see, uh, especially considering, like, out of the only three episodes that you're, that we see it, you know, it, you know, one of them isn't even there. It's in Mabel's bubble. Well... We de defeated Pyronica. And, like, Bill has all these interesting-looking henchmen, yet we don't learn anything about them. Like, I don't know. I think they could have spent more time in the... During Weird Mageddon. I think they could have spent more time, like, between Not What He Seems and Weird Mageddon building it up. That That's just my opinion, though. Don't, don't let me... And plus, you know, there was, like, zero... And between Weird Mageddon and Part 3 and... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the, the friggin' Dungeons and Dragons one, I forget what it's c called. You know, they, they forgot, uh, like, between that, there wasn't even any friggin' dialogue between the two stands. Like, I think, you know, they could have had more build up to Weird Mageddon and more time spent in Weird Mageddon. We defeated Xanthar, but that's just my opinion. It seemed like a bit of a weak finale for such a great show, but you know, it's, but you know, it, it was still good. It's, it's not like it was just some huge middle finger ending, you know, it, it was satisfying. Just, I thought they could have done more. I feel the presence of intruders because clearly you're still alive, Bill. Dipper and Mabel, I'll give you a cordial welcome. You won't rescue your friends, ever. If you want to deceive Bill Cipher, remember that there's only one person who knows how to help Bill leave Gravity Falls. Oh yeah, that's right, that's still a thing. Okay, get the statue of Stanford. What an unexpected surprise! Stanford pines at his niece Mabel. I thought you were in the attic while Stan with Stanley seeking anomalies. The Arctic, not the attic. But since you're here, I think we can make a deal. If you tell me the equation that you can release my anomaly so I can escape from Gravity Falls, I'll let them all go safe and sound. Do you accept? I, I accept the deal, Bill. Wait a moment, that's a child's voice! You're not Stanford, they wanted to deceive me! Not that- Dang it! Idiot! Why didn't I activate that? Uh, yeah, you wanna- Okay. Oh, whoopsies. Nope! Forgot to do the statue! Why is simple tasks so complicated for me? Why is proper grammar so complicated for me? I said is. Why is simple tasks? That doesn't make any sense! 
That's dumb. Dumbity dum dum dum. I accept the deal. I accept the deal, Bill. Excellent. Tell me the formula. See, I don't remember it right now, but I'm sure it's somewhere in my memory. So you'll have to get into my mind and look for it. You'll have my permission to do it. That's not how it works. You have to shake his hand. That'll be very easy. Let's get to work. Finally, I'll be able to leave Gravity Falls to conquer the whole world. Okay, that, that, that was impressive how they managed to sort of mimic his death scene. We defeated Bill. Thanks for rescuing me, Dipper. Thank you for rescuing me, Mabel. Two hours later. Thank you for helping us succeed. The Inca Games team wants to wish you a Merry Christmas. Yeah, apparently this was a Christmas special. Until next time. Hey, why would the lumberjack guy? Okay, so that's, I'm taking it, that's the video the song that um okay yeah it's the song that, that was good that was good I, I did like that sure i couldn't understand a word of it but i did like it yeah so overall i like this game i thought it paid a good tribute to gravity falls you know obviously major continuity errors but it's a free flash game online you know it wasn't expecting them to be super accurate and yeah they did plus you know with inca games it's not like someone trying to make like a super accurate fan fiction and this was good I, I did enjoy it um yeah I guess um I wonder what I'm left wondering is if they're gonna do like a Steven Universe saw game because you know a lot of people like that show too I think that could be interesting maybe star versus the force of evil saw game uh, the, I I don't know I, I'm just spitballing shows I like now before you know it I'll, I'll be asking them to do an arrested development saw game where, you know, Pigsaw kidnaps the Bluth family, and Michael's just like, sure, kill them, I don't care, I don't need them. <laughs> uh, any, anyway, yeah, this was the walkthrough. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye bye